What do you think is the worst way a human can die? Scaphism or impalement. But by a skilled impaler who can slide the thing in there, missing anything immediately fatal and hoisting you up for days. Modern world? Probably radiation poisoning or rabies. Bonus answer that applies to me, specifically the Nutty Putty Cave incident, steamed alive. It's like getting burned alive except your nerve endings don't get destroyed so you get to feel all of it to the end. Or so I've heard. According to pain studies it's burning, but I'm not sure they were able to study impalement or scaphism. At the hands of Genghis Khan and his Mongol army, they had some messed up ways to kill people. The Mongols wrapped the three of them in felt rugs, as befitted high-ranking aristocrats, and stuffed them beneath the floorboards of their gear wooden platform, thereby slowly, but bloodlessly. Crushing the men as the Mongols drank and sang through the night on the floor above them. Being eaten by a bear? The cunts don't even have the decency to kill you first. Just pin you down and start eating. And they generally start at the asshole or gut so you'll be alive for a while watching the thing eat you. There is a medieval torture techniques that are scary painful. One is about placing rats on the victim chest. You cover the rats so they cannot escape and you heat up the bucket to make them panic. They will eventually escape from the bottom. You are the bottom. Another one is literally skinning the person alive. Make your choice. Recently heard of a person and friends that ignored warnings near Anchorage Alaska not to walk out on the mud flats at low tide. The one person got stuck in the mud up to the waist and could not get out. The friends tried to get help, but could not free him in time. He drowned in the incoming tide. Slowly getting crushed but never enough to die from getting crushed but rather dying from starvation hydration whilst this is happening. I'm okay don't worry. Well. A dude at the trust shop across the street got slowly sucked into a wood chipper this morning. So. Probably that. Honestly suffocating. Having asthma as a kid and parents not worrying about it. The pain is very hard to explain, because you're not dying, but you are struggling to breathe but it's also very painful in a way. I don't know. Personally I think outliving all of your family and friends and then slowly dying alone from cancer or some other debilitating disease over the course of years in a dirty dingy care center with lousy underpaid staff would be pretty miserable. Alone, I but I just get scared of those deaths that are lonely AF like PPL dying in caves, or getting eaten by sharks or even getting killed in a dark alley or SMTG. Slowly boiled alive in oil. Like, you're in the pan when it's cool. And it just slowly gets hot to the point of death. Being skinned only a few layers around your entire body, enough so that you're alive. Then directly after being placed in a pool of rubbing alcohol or lemon juice. Rabies. A vaccine is needed within 10 days of exposure otherwise death is guaranteed and it isn't pretty. Weeks or months of delirium, fever, body aches and the immune system attacking itself as the victim progresses to the only possible outcome. My girlfriend died a seemingly terrible death from my puff. She was a bad alcoholic who hid it very well until she couldn't. Her nerves were slowly being destroyed and were firing constantly, leaving her in constant pain for weeks as it slowly crept from her fingertips and toes down into her limbs. I could go on but I don't want to live it again. Eaten alive by bears. I'm always reminded of the story about a Russian girl who managed to make several phone calls to her family while a bear and her cubs devoured her. I can't imagine how painful it must have been to have each chunk bitten out of you until you lose consciousness for the last time. I think it was a movie or a TV or some shit. Dude was buried in a shitty wood casket with big ass spiders inside. If that was me I am fighting until you shoot me. Kind of in toss up between drowning in the middle of the ocean while a shark uses your feet for appetizers, and being set ablaze while hanging from a tree as the town watches. Fire related suicide homicide. Imagine someone lighting themselves on fire then grabbing you, and then plunging down a 30-story building. Fuck that. Getting the insides yanked out of the anus from the drain at the bottom of a pool looks like a pretty crappy way to go out. Being buried up to your neck and having ants slowly devour your head. I just heard about this on a podcast about Francisco Macias Nuema, ruthless dictator of Equatorial Guinea. Apparently, he did that to some of his people. In a way or in a place that they won't ever be found by their loved ones. If I have to die I just hope my husband at least knows what happened to me. The guy who died in Nutty Putty Cave. He got lodged upside down in a tiny crevice. They tried to pull him out for 28 hours, but the bottom of his rib cage was stuck under the ledge, and they couldn't get him out. Pure nightmare fuel. Dying alone and knowing there is no one going to remember you, admire you, think about you, mention your name, mourn you, or keep you alive in their memories. Depends on what you personally dislike the most hemo. If you hate pain the most burning, if you hate the anxiety of not being able to breathe and drowning or suffocating, 
just learn about scafism or something like that in this thread and personally I'd hate that the most. That shark dude in the sea. He died in broad daylight being eaten alive with people all around him and yet no one could help. Getting stuck and dying between rocks while exploring caves is the worst way to die emo John Jones. Alone with the nursing home short straw holding your hand. Even though you can see how badly she wants to go home get showered from your death stink and go on a date while you try your best to death rattle the last breath as she checks her phone.